<laughs> Hello and welcome back to Teacher Torno. Today it's time for a little history lesson. We're not talking about the wishes warfare of the Second World War or the Pol Pot pranks in Cambodia. You see, everything has history. Every person, every artifact made by humans, even the colors. So today we're going to talk about the color purple. Why is it associated with royalty? And why are there no purple flags? Back in the old days, purple was worth its weight in gold. <sighs> Our story begins in the Mediterranean, in a Phoenician city called Tyre. The Phoenicians were a Thalassocratic trading empire and they had access to the only known source of purple in the ancient world. The source was the murex, a type of predatory sea snails native to Tyre. There were two ways of extracting the colors from the snails. You could crush them and take it by force, thereby losing reputation with the snail faction. Alternatively, you could milk them by poking them repeatedly. This strategy was renewable, but what kind of person would poke snails for a living and at which point does it get sexual? It's estimated that you would need about 10,000 snails to create one gram of purple. And to fully dye clothes, you're gonna need a hell of a lot more than just one gram. Safe to say this color was extremely expensive and only the wealthiest and most powerful people in the world could afford it. The generals of Rome, the pharaohs of Egypt and the princes of Persia all wore this color with pride. Caesar became entranced by it after meeting Cleopatra, and he came home to Rome in a purple toga that he declared that only he could wear. Purple became a symbol of royalty, divinity and power, and it remains so to this day. Fast forward to the 1500s in England, Queen Elizabeth I made it illegal for anyone outside of the royal family to wear purple incidentally giving birth to what we now know as the fashion police. <clears throat> In 1856, a chemistry apprentice called William Henry Perkins accidentally creates purple in an attempt to cure malaria. He was 18 years old. Perhaps this made him believe in the Buddhist concept of karma, but what we do know is that he became filthy rich after he patented his discovery and was able to bring purple into the modern world for a very reasonable price. Suddenly purple was available to everyone. And although some people were a bit bummed out that malaria still existed out there, the world had a little more color. That is the lesson of the day. If you learned something new, uh, leave a thumbs up. In this short history lesson, we were able to make a connection between a sea snail and the color purple. And in the next history lesson that will be out soon, I will do the same with powdered wigs and uh, syphilis. Adieu.